For nearly two decades, superhero movies have dominated the box office and pop culture, with many breaking records, winning critical acclaim, and even earning Best Picture nominations. While this era may be winding down, the genre has already delivered numerous classics. However, not all superhero films have been successes. For every Black Panther, there's a Ghost Rider. Some of these movies missed the mark entirely, with weak plots, poor special effects, and a lack of understanding of their source material. A few were so disastrous that they stalled their franchises for years. Here are the 10 worst superhero movies that made us question our faith in capes and masks. So the 10th worst superhero movie on our list is Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Superman 4, The Quest for Peace marks the lowest point in the Christopher Reeve Superman series. In this film, Superman vows to eliminate nuclear weapons and battles the villain Nuclear Man. While the premise was timely, the execution is sluggish and uninspired, with even the actors seeming disinterested. Despite turning a profit, the film was widely regarded as a failure, leading to the cancellation of a planned sequel and keeping Superman off the big screen for nearly two decades. And the ninth worst superhero movie on our list is The Spirit. The Spirit follows Denny Colt, Gabriel Macht, a resurrected police officer, as he battles the villainous octopus, Samuel L. Jackson, to save Central City. Directed by Frank Miller of Sin City fame, the film boasts a visually striking style, but lacks substance. The characters are flat, the humor misses the mark, and the plot is incoherent. Despite Miller's attempt to create a noir superhero hybrid, the result is more bizarre than compelling. For a better performance from Macht, you're better off watching Suits. And the eighth worst superhero movie on our list is Fantastic Four. The Fantastic Four reboot aimed to reimagine the origins of Reed Richards, Miles Teller, Sue Storm, Kate Mara, Johnny Storm, Michael B. Jordan, and Ben Grimm, Jamie Bell. Despite a strong cast and director Josh Trank, the film was a widely regarded flop. The main issues were its lack of humor, straying from the comic's fun, irreverent tone, and a plot bogged down by tedious scenes of characters building machines rather than engaging in exciting action. The script also reduced the heroes and villain, Dr. Doom, Toby Kebbell, to one-dimensional figures, wasting the cast's potential. Focusing more on character development and less on science experiments might have saved this missed opportunity. And the seventh worst superhero movie is Jonah Hex. In Jonah Hex, Josh Brolin plays a tormented bounty hunter who can communicate with the dead, hunting down the villain Quentin Turnbull, played by John Malkovich, who murdered his family. Despite the strong cast and promising source material, the film is a chaotic mess. The characters are one-dimensional, spouting cliched dialogue, and the plot is unfocused. Even with talented actors like Michael Fassbender and Michael Shannon on board, the movie suffers from a confused tone, leaving viewers uncertain if it's meant to be a comedy or an action film. And our sixth worst superhero movie is Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance. In Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance, Nicolas Cage returns as Johnny Blaze, the cursed biker who transforms into the fiery Ghost Rider. This time, Blaze is hiding in Eastern Europe, trying to control his dark side when a secret church sect recruits him to save a boy from becoming the devil's vessel. The film attempts to outdo its predecessor with a go big or go home approach, but the result is a ludicrous plot and gimmicky 3D effects strung together by generic action scenes and shaky CGI. Despite harsh reviews, it still managed to earn $132 million at the box office. And the fifth worst superhero movie on our list is Supergirl. In Supergirl, Helen Slater stars as Kara Zor-El, Superman's cousin, who comes to Earth to find a powerful artifact. However, she clashes with the villainous sorceress Selina, played by Faye Dunaway, who wants the artifact for herself. While the premise is promising, the film's execution falls flat with cheesy special effects, a weak script, and some wooden performances, 
though Slata does her best with the material. The movie is bogged down by irrelevant subplots and illogical plot twists, leading to a critical and commercial flop, earning just $14.3 million against a $35 million budget. And the fourth worst superhero movie on our list is Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin features George Clooney as Batman and Chris O'Donnell as Robin, battling the over-the-top villains Mr. Freeze, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Poison Ivy, Uma Thurman. Laden with neon lights, extravagant costumes, and cheesy one-liners, the film is a far cry from Tim Burton's darker take on the franchise. Its garish visuals and convoluted plot earned it a reputation as one of the worst superhero movies ever. The film's campy approach was so poorly received that it led to a shift in superhero storytelling, paving the way for darker, more serious films like Batman Begins. And the third worst superhero movie is Son of the Mask. Son of the Mask is a tedious follow-up to the Jim Carrey original. The film stars Jamie Kennedy as Tim Avery, a cartoonist who finds the mask of Loki, leading to chaos when his son inherits its powers. While kids might enjoy the slapstick humour, many scenes are unsuitable for younger viewers, and adults are likely to find the film disappointing. Unlike Carrie's energetic and entertaining performance in the first movie, Kennedy's portrayal is simply annoying, making Son of the Mask an overall failure. And the second worst superhero movie is Steel. Steel features Shaquille O'Neal as John Henry Irons, a weapons designer who dons a suit of armour to fight crime. Essentially, a budget Iron Man. Despite a solid source, the film is plagued by clunky dialogue, poor special effects, and O'Neill's lacklustre performance. Attempting to leverage Shaq's fame, the movie fails to entertain, with uninspired action and excessive basketball references. Steel bombed at the box office, earning only $1.7 million on a $16 million budget, and quickly faded into obscurity. It's not just bad, it's painfully forgettable. And the last worst superhero movie on our list is Catwoman. Catwoman, starring Halle Berry, is widely regarded as one of the worst superhero films. Deviating heavily from the DC character's origins, the movie follows Patience Phillips, a shy graphic designer who is resurrected by an Egyptian cat and gains feline powers. She becomes a vigilante, targeting the corrupt cosmetics company she works for. Despite Berry's star power, the film is a disaster, with a shallow script, nonsensical plot, and chaotic editing. Ultimately, Catwoman feels soulless, as if the filmmakers had little passion for the project. So, which superhero movie among these 10 do you consider the worst? Let us know in the comments section. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.